All right, everybody, welcome to our 401 Club expert sesh today. I'm super excited because today we have Luke and Lou Ritchie from Force Manager. They have a product they're going to kind of share with us. And I don't do this often where I bring someone that kind of focuses on a product, but this is something so unique and specific to our industry and so new. I think a lot of you have probably heard about it, but I wanted to give you this kind of inside look and access to Luke and Lou to kind of ask your questions and really get everything answered. So thanks for jumping on to the air meet again, how this works. We're going to get let Lou and Luke talk about 5,500 or force manager, walk through that, tell us their stories a little bit. Um, and then at the end, you can kind of ask questions. You can do that all throughout the questions in the chat, or at the end, we can pull you on stage and you can kind of talk to Lou and Luke uh, at the end. So with that, I'll turn the time over to Luke and Lou and let them kind of uh, teach us what their story and then how they got to really get this product off the ground. Awesome. Thank you, Jake. Thank you for having us. Much appreciated. So I guess we kick off with just personal introduction to, 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 to me and then I'll hand over to Lou. And then Lou will give us uh, a bit of an origin story about where we are. Uh, so my name's Luke. I am the director of sales and onboarding at Force Manager 5500. Uh, I've actually been at Force Manager now for over five five years. And uh, pre prior to that, uh, I worked in financial services. Uh, you might tell from my accent in the UK with Investec and, and AXA. Uh, so Lou, over to you, personal introduction. Fantastic. So uh, 25 years plus in the retirement plan industry. I've been a qualified plan consultant for years. And I've worked on the wholesale side, I also built a chassis for a large payroll company. And so I understand both the record keeping, the administration, and most importantly, the advisor side. And uh, we, um, we put together a program um, a little more than a year ago uh, in conjunction with Force Manager, and we think it's a game changer for advisors. And uh, the brief origin story is um, after you know, a long stint in my career, I was building a program for a TA firm in South Florida helping them with their outbound marketing. And we were looking to replace the CRM they currently had. We were introduced by force, introduced to force manager by one of our uh, advisors in South Florida. And they said, you've got to see this tool. It's fantastic. The, uh, the whole functionality is unbelievable. And so what we did is we looked at it, we adopted it. And when we were, we started using it in our region, we realized that if you could take this tool and if you could embed the 5,500 data, it would be a game changer for advisors, uh, not just on building their pipeline and the outbound marketing side, but also on the client management and the CRM side. And so uh, we've spent more than a year on this project with Force Manager. And as we started the project, we were working directly with the DOL downloads. And uh, over time, we realized that having a great data partner would be important. Number one, for um, the current data status so that we could have the most, I guess the, the freshest data possible so we looked at a variety of partners in the industry and we ended up partnering with Arisapedia and they have a years and years of experience on the Arisa side. They have consultants that consult with large record keepers and TPA firms. And we have a data feed that brings in data on a monthly basis. So the data is fresh, but not only that, embedded their benchmarking reports into the tool. And so we think it's just a fantastic uh, tool for advisors today. Those advisors that post COVID are trying to get out to the marketplace, build their pipeline and not only build your pipeline, but also build your practice. And we're getting into practice management uh, consulting as well. And with that, Luke is really the ninja and the guru on force manager. The tool is really fantastic. And he's able to kind of showcase how it works and also share some ideas on, you know, how advisors are getting back out there. If you're working with LinkedIn. If you're working with digital marketing and outbound, how do you get the attention of plan sponsors? How do you really um, change the game in the marketplace? And so, um, you know, with that, we'll bounce it back to Luke and also Jake. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I want to be real quick, Luke. Uh, hold on, my my feedback. I was just kind of curious, the um, the history, the kind of there's a lot of CRMs out there, right? A lot of us use CRMs that we have for for a long time, um, but sometimes these CRMs, they just they're a struggle for us on the sales side of things to keep up, and and. What I found unique about yours is it incorporated the 5500 data, which I've been very loud about how to use that differently than, than maybe some other systems. Um, tell me kind of like, what was it that you, you got you the vision of putting this together? I mean, I know Force Manager was already a big CRM, but you made it kind of have this separate silo product. What was it that made you push to do it? You know, looking at the tool itself, we've all used probably CRMs in the past. I mean, I remember years and years ago, ACT and Goldmine, and these different tools, and then glorified spreadsheets where you're tracking opportunities. 
this is more of what I would call a digital assistant. And it's, it's very, very smart. And I, I, I would present it this way. It's the difference between having a phone and having an iPhone. When the iPhone came out and you had all this functionality, it's not just calling people, texting people and having your emails. You have all these apps and widgets within the tool. And so what's interesting about Force Manager is they were actually, they were created in collaboration with Apple. So you've got Apple creativity in the tool. And when, again, when I was using this, here's an example. I was in Miami, Florida. I'm a TPA. We're, we're working with advisors. I, I wrapped up a meeting and on my phone, I could see all the advisors around me categorized. So when I was done with my meeting, I could reach to, you know, let's say ABC brokerage firm. And I can say, hey, Bob, I'm right down the street. I know we've spoken a few times. I'd like to stop by. And he says, you know what, Lou, I'd love to catch up next week. I'm in the middle of something. When I hung my when I hung that call up, I put in a reminder to meet with this guy next week. And then I called someone else. And then they said, yeah, stop on by, Lou. I'd love to get together. And then so my day became a lot more efficient as a wholesaler, right? So as an advisor, when you're managing your day and you're doing outbounds, you're able to manage your means, your prospects. And then here's the most important thing. Um, being able to see the qualified plans on the map around you. A lot of folks don't understand the value of that. Here's an example. Luke and I had a call yesterday with an advisor. He pulled up the ad, this genuine call yesterday, brand new user. He pulled it up and he said, oh my gosh, I've got my, and, and go ahead, Luke. There's two, I think there was two doctor's offices that he's very close with. He had used, I don't want to mention the name of the other 5,500 provider. They didn't have some reason, a record of these two plans. And then he, he sent us an email back and said, I have all these plans I'm looking at, several of which are not on this other chassis. I don't know why. And I think that goes to the data integrity of Arisipedia. But go ahead and um, elaborate, Luke. Yeah, yeah. I also, yeah. Want, to also want to take it a, take a step, step back, back as well. As well. So Jake, you, know, Jake, you talked, talked about a number of different, number of different you know, CRMs that are out there. And, and, and I think all of us have probably used different ones. And I think CRM has almost got that word where it's anyone mentions CRM, it's like, oh my God, it's that system I've got to update. And it's not an enjoyable experience. So the purpose of what we've done at Force Manager is trying to make it easy to use. You know, the Force Manager itself has been around for 10 years in the marketplace. And our, our target is salespeople. We are a sales CRM predominantly. That is what, you know, that's where our strength is and through our mobility and through our partnership with, with Apple. But the system needs to be easy to use. You know, it needs to be actually helpful to you as the end user, because otherwise it's just a big black box that's just collecting data for no real reason. You're either doing it as a tick box exercise for, for management or you're just doing it, you know, because you, you need to do it. But with Force Manager, we're trying to bring it in. You know, there's some vacation parts of it, trying to drag it into like the 21st century where it's. I won't go as far, Jake has said, it's enjoyable, but hey, as close as we can get, it can be almost be fun to actually start to upload it. And, and that's where we get adoption from. It's got to be easy to use. It's got to be simple. Now, we've all, we all know Salesforce, and what Salesforce does is fantastic. Look, they are a competitor to ours in, in certain industries, and what they do is great. But it's so big. You know, it does everything for you. And sometimes, as a salesperson, as an advisor, I want to really focus in on, on selling. And they're getting more plans, building relationships with those plan sponsors. And that's where we've focused in. And that's the beauty of it. And now just opening up the world to, you know, force manager in the, in the retirement industry and really can, from conversations with Lou in the early days and then conversations with, with everyone else we've spoken to in there, there definitely there's a, there's a gap in the market for a, a CRM, which is built with you as the advisor actually at the forefront. And that's what, what, what I feel that we've done and so far from feedback we've got is what, is what we've achieved. And, and having that system that can just streamline your own processes. And for me, uh, Force Manager, it's always been efficiency and productivity. If you can improve those factors from the end user, you're going to sell more. And by, by structuring your data, so the, our audience here, you know, some will have CRM, some won't, you know, some will still use Excel. Some will use the back of a cigarette paper still. You know, there's a real myth in terms of what's actually out there. But actually managing to structure your data, and, and Lou touched upon it, you know, features like the map functionality. I've spoken to countless advisors who have gone, I didn't even know that plan was in my neighborhood. You know, in that business park, there's 20 potential prospects. And I'm just down the road. So 
it's not just about bringing a solution to you. Look, you know, I want everyone to buy Force Manager. Of course I do. But that's not why we're here. We're here to try to bring in some a different thinking to, to how where we market and be much more intentional by the way that we, we market out there. So I know, Jake, you know, we've spoken before about you know, having that list of like those 30 sort of qualified plans that you want to go after. And, but how do you get to that 30, that 30, that 35, that 40? That's where the missing gap is. And I think that's where you can leverage Force Manager as an example you know, to, to try to build that list up with being able to filter for those, the plan issues. You know, is there a QDIA issue? You know, whatever issues there are, to be able to do that quickly and easy on a mobile platform you know, is, 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 a, is a big benefit. And the geolocation, I can see the plans that are around me. So there's a couple of marketing strategies just from being able to see the data visually. That plan that I walk past every day, that coffee shop, you know, it's, it's there. It's a potential to go and build business. And a number of advisors we've been working with have leveraged that. You know, within that zip code, within their neighborhood, they use that as a marketing strategy to go, hey, local local 401k advisor you now i i always keep an eye on you know the plans in, in in and around me and you know and maybe i can help you and leverage that thing so that's been one of the the beauties of it we've we've always sort of trying to help coach advisors by giving them the platform and that's why she's speaking and working with you jake you know that ability to help use a platform like force manager has been the has been a big plus hey. Question on that, as far as the map goes, I mean, it's kind of like playing Pokemon Go. For those of you who have kids, that was a big deal, right? For a week. And I still do the same with that app or not. When I'm driving down the road, I'm like, I wonder who does that physician's plan, right? Is there a way to filter just to see your niche, your industry that you want to work with yeah, on so the map? Course. Yeah, so one of those data points on the map is the industry, you know, the, the, the industry they're in. So if you've got a niche in pharmacies or, or hotels or restaurants etc you can filter the data off so then you're just seeing you know the plans for that particular industry that are in your neighborhood so yeah you can really focus in and just it's just i said it already but you know it's been much more intentional with with you the data because the data there is super powerful and i know jake you've spoken about this number of times all the time about about utilizing that 5500 data in a, in a positive way and yeah, in a different way, helps. not a negative yeah. way, right? Not sending out blast emails of everything you're doing wrong. I think you're going to have better success if you find the one thing they're doing right and tell them, hey, I noticed you did this. That's the right thing. Good job. Like, that's going to be a better introduction than telling them 10 things that are wrong because there's probably 10 things wrong. So yeah. that's but a big key to it. How many emails do we all receive from, from people? Plan sponsors so must receive 10 a day probably from advisors. Hey, doing this. It just doesn't get through. It doesn't get through enough. So that geography that locality and I think one thing that is super important and I've spoken to various different people when, when marketing that uh, being consistent with the marketing because an awful lot of sales in, in any industry is timing you know I've had a couple we had a great example about a month ago when uh, an advisor was was using the platform and they were reaching out and but having like, creating my tasks within force managed to reach out once a month once a quarter quarterly newsletter or something that does get through it does it does penetrate through because suddenly if you catch the plan sponsor when they're having some sort of issue with their 401k plan maybe they haven't been able to get a hold of advisor for three months and then suddenly they go do you know what luke's been messaging me give me some good content you know etc for the last six months actually i might just give luke a call see if he can help me with it so sometimes it can even be simple strategies like that to put in place that suddenly can open a door that may have previously being closed. Tell me a little bit about on the, the CRM component for like team. So growing out a, a practice and really going to the next level, is a work kind of a workflow built into it? Is it is it got a lot of business intelligence as far as a dashboard and telling you, and you can jump in and show us too if you want to, but I, I think that's something I'm trying to really find and, and connect not only the sales side because I don't want to slow down to fill up a CRM, but I do want to know I'm on the right track and kind of see from a practice level where my problems are and how to make sure that they're all getting taken care of. Yeah, so Force Manager, you know, our traditional, our standard product, we're enterprise. You know, that's, that's our piece. You know, we are, we're born in, in enterprise. Actually, Force Manager 5500 has been our first retail product. You know, you can go and buy it today and get the data for the, all of Florida, you know, in, in the palm of your hands in, in two minutes. You've got all that information. So yeah, so our, our backbone is enterprise. So 
we've got advisors who are just working their independent advisors using the tool but also we've got larger teams as well where then there's it's hierarchical so yeah if you're the, we're working the whole practice you can see what's happening so it's not it's not a big brother thing it's it's about it's about coaching and, and making sure that the reps are, are, are managing you know their their day to day because in any big practice most managers are, are wanting some sort of information about what you're doing you know and automatic activity reporting from force manager saves everyone time you know how many of us in you know, have probably had to spend a couple of hours once a month doing sort of detailed report pulling excel or pulling information all together when actually it can be done in force manager you haven't even got to touch it so managers haven't got to chase you for it you haven't got to spend the hours making it it can be in there in force manager because you log in the activity you log in your opportunity you log in your pipeline you're tracking everything by using the application so it just saves hours of administrative burden which none of us particularly like to do uh maybe some people do but not for me you know you want to be able to you want to be able to just quickly do it you know and and add in you know simple things like after a after a visit just speaking into the force manager do my meeting notes bang done straightforward nice and you know nice and quick like that can be super super easy and it sounds so simple yet it can save hours of of one time also improve data integrity as well yeah there's a great footnote to that um we've we've worked with a variety of coaches and they tell us that it takes anywhere from maybe 7 to 15 touches to close an account right but the, the tough thing about that is you're working with 10 or 15 or 20 opportunities how do you track those touches so this is a great way that you can automate tracking those touches and then you can see where you are in the process so that when it comes time when that plan sponsor says you know what I had another issue with my record keeper. I had another issue, another issue with my advisor. I really want to get out there and talk to someone else to fix our problems. You're going to be there because you have this constant cadence on contacting those. You know, let's say you pick 20 or 30 or 40. A great way for you to show what those touches are, and it helps you automate your marketing process. And I think automating it for me anyway. It's you know you want someone helping you behind the scenes so that you don't have to track everything. On a, on a daily basis. It's a great way to track your touches. Jake, can you see my screen? Sorry, yep, we can see it. Yeah, okay, cool. So we talked a lot about it. I guess we can make it we can make it a bit real. You know, I mean, this is this isn't a sales pitch, you know, this it's not it's just about bringing the technology to you. You know, it's a, it's a new product that we launched back at the, that what should have been the Napa conference uh, uh, back in April, but we obviously COVID hit a big uh, hit into that. Uh, so we had to do digital launch, etc. So you know, this is you know trying to get in front of people to show, you know, does it, you know, is it, you know, is it something that's going to be of use? It's not going to be for everyone, but hopefully for some people it is. So we talked about geography. So here I'm, a, I'm an advisor in, you know, in in Chicago, for example. I can see all these plans. So all these bubbles we see are just so we can see. I don't. Illinois is is a, probably an extreme example of in terms of sort of density of plans. But straight away, as I as I zoom in. You know, these now are, are individual plans. If I click on one of these plans, it's it's a plan. I can open it up and, and I can start to see the information about it. And here we've got all the 5,500 data in here. So, you know, we all know this data, we won't bore you with it, but all these data points are in here. And they're in here uh, for you to obviously click and look at quickly. But more importantly, these are the data points that we can then use to, to structure and how you build that list, those 30 plans. How will we, How are we building it? what data points are we using so here we jump into which is probably one of the most interesting parts is, is those potential red flags you know so this this here we can see yeah it's probably got a qdia issue you know, so that again that could be one of your criteria in order to be able to you know take a look at that and and bring that you know bring that plan into your list of targets that you're going to actively market towards so then we put the financial information and uh, etc and the beauty we've got with our relationship with Arisopedia, I'll just jump into another plan down the road, you know, is, is the uh, analytical plan analysis reports built into the CRM. So, you know, you're not having to jump from system to system. You've got it all in one. So, you know, for example, it's going to be small on the iPhone, granted, but we've got a copy of the actual 5500, which I can access straight away on, on the 5500. I can then really jump into you know, things like the, the benchmarking report brought to you by Arisopedia. So here, you know, it's an example of plan analysis, you know, Julie Diamond Larkspur-esque to a certain point. But these reports that are just in force managers. So you could be walking past that, that, that place, that business, and just actually pull up the information. 
So the power of having it all just in the palm of your hand is there. And of course, sharing this, this, these reports with the plan sponsor as a, as a you know, here, look, here's, the, here's, the, here's a copy of the, the, the review of benchmarking of how your plan is performing. So simple things about having the data just you know, that strong and that, that in the palm of your hands is, you know, is, is, is second to none to a certain extent because otherwise it's all a bit flat. It's all in an Excel file where we, we've been sent a list uh, by, by someone. You know, we, we've got a list of businesses. Oh, great. Now, what, what do I do with it? How do I actually make it useful? So uh, things like building in views. You know, so here we can build in custom views. So these are different lists of prospects. I may have three or four different lists of, of plans I'm going I want to target for whatever reason. So this bottom one we see here is in a zip code. So it's in a zip code there, it's got a QDIA issue and it's, it's under 5 million in terms of total assets. So straight away, I can then see that. So now I'm looking at all of those plans. So now I've got a list of about 14 in there, which I can now actively market towards. So pick up a phone, you know, researching them on LinkedIn, it can be a great way in as, as well. Sending old school mail, there is another, another, another way in. Now, and, and even simple things like picking up the phone, making calls from Force Manager that we give you through the data, we give you the contact who's named on the 5500. So again, straight from here, I can make a call out just straight from Force Manager. The touch point, there's been lots of research that's undertaken that is between eight and 15 touches in order to convert you know, a prospect into a client as well. So track that, how are we performing against it? For simple things like this, and now, Force managers helping me, hey, make a note of that touch point after that phone call. So great way, phone call, and now I can start to leverage voice to text. So for me, this is the magic, it's the power of it. On my iPhone, it's small, it's a bit, I can type away, it's not easy. Voice to text is here. Great call, wasn't able to speak very long, asked me to call him back in three days time. So again, speaking into it, nice and easy, super technology, we're all comfortable speaking to the technology now, leverage. So I can add that, but most importantly, this task creation is the most important part. Now I wanna create that task for Monday to give him a call back, you know, straight away and add that into my calendar, go into there, done, press two taps of a button, done. Not only just logged that activity, that touch point with this prospect, but also I'm gonna have a reminder in Force Manager on Monday to give Joshua here, you know, a call straight away. So I'm using it to be more productive, more efficient, more you know, more intentional with it as well. We've got a great feature. If you want to do any, any email marketing, you know, sending out the quarterly newsletter, you've got a fantastic integration with MailChimp, for example, you know, and, and leverage that. And then you can push the data from Force Manager straight into MailChimp and then back into, into Force Manager. MailChimp, you get all the, who's opened it, click rates, etc., like that. So just trying to complete the picture of that whole prospecting and also client servicing can be, can be done in here as well. And as we talked about, you know, a video adding stuff after after a video call as well you know i can I do a check-in i can do that visit or i can check in i can add my notes you know straight away into the system not doing it on a friday afternoon adding my you know, my activity report if you're in a larger firm i can add it straight into the system and again leveraging voice to text is fantastic great meeting need to send proposal as quick as possible and set a follow-up meeting for friday at 9 a.m Straight away, into there, press done, notes of my, my notes of that activity done straight away. Pop-ups just appeared. Now, that pops appeared due to our artificial intelligence. So guess what? Mobile application with artificial intelligence. So straight away in there, we're using the data, and Lou touched upon it at the start. You know, it's, uh, it's an assistant. It, it's helping you. It, it's not just a bad word of CRM. It's actually your digital personal assistant in your, you know, in your pocket as well. I can now straight away, just all I've got to do now is add in the subject that, that is preset to Friday. You know, forgive me, mine's in UK date format, but I'll just add in the subject and away I go. Add it in, move on text appointment as well. And just finally, Jake, as well, something that I know we, we, we talked about, you know, we've got uh, the, the KPIs here, so some of the gamification as well, but tracking how, how I'm doing. Now, I want to set myself some, some strategic goals number of outbound calls, number of new opportunities I should create, number of visits I should create, they're all actually here from the dashboard and they're being logged automatically. So if I set this strategy, I can see, hey, am I achieving the strategy? But then more importantly, is the strategy working? You know, is it helping me actually achieve the goal I set out as well? So every time I make a call, this logs. Every time I make a visit, it logs automatically. So again, creating all of that. And this is especially, you know, 
important in, in larger teams, you know, in larger practices, but even individuals. I know Lou uses it himself, you know, just to make sure you know, he's, he's constant with his communication to people as well. So just, again, just a, a glimpse of, of it and how easy it is to use. Hopefully, you Apple users out there will see how Apple native it is. And, and that's due to our relationship with Apple. You know, it's, it's co-designed with the guy down in Cupertino in Silicon Valley. It's, it's designed with them. So, you know, what does Apple do best? Easy to use. And that's what we try to do here. You know, any system should, be, should add benefit to your life not make it harder and i think that's what sometimes systems do uh, but hopefully with force manager that that we don't so it's a it's a whole new approach and i know jake when we first started speaking you know it was it was an, an interesting thing because you hadn't seen anybody else do it the way that we've done it yeah i'd been looking around and i you know we use Redtail. i've used other crms and it was always a struggle there's two things i want to point out that you just went through the whole demo was on mobile like for me as an advisor, if I don't do it on my phone, like right after, it's not going to get done. If I have to find a place to sit down and pull my laptop out, it's uh, it's not going to happen, right? Absolutely. So that's, a, that's critical that you did that. I think that's really important to, to kind of think through is mobile has to be the, the way we do it. But also the customization of the goals. I mean, knowing where you're trying to go, like backing into your end result of how many plans you're trying to attract, how many how much you want to grow your business, if it's just you, you yourself right now, or if you're trying to grow a team, you can customize that and then it automatically tracks how you're doing without, you know, another way to kind of, you know, I, I'm guilty of using Google Sheets a ton more than I should to track things and something I got to get away from. And this is a tool that, you know, it really makes a lot of sense because there's just so many, so many things that go along with it that make it even more valuable. So I, I'm impressed. Um, I want to open it up to questions unless Lou or Luke, do you have anything else you want to add to it or open to questions now? Yeah, no, I'm good. We can open the questions. Lou, if you've got anything. Yeah, and the last footnote would be you don't have to be technologically savvy to use it. Clearly, I've been here 25 plus years. I'm notorious for having my yellow pads, right? So I'm always, all day long, right? Yellow pad. When I got my first iPhone, they had a yellow pad, and I'm like, oh, I can now do this on my phone. This is taking it to the next level where you're tracking everything on your phone, and you talk into it, you hit the button, it's easy. So that's. I think you don't have to be now for the new generation. It's amazing because this is their world. But for me, a lot of these advisors out there that have, you know, 10, 15 years experience, it's a way to enter into the digital world without really having to have this huge learning curve, which I think is great. Yeah, exactly. Question came in and this is what I'm going to cover is the different levels of uh, purchasing and like how, what's the cost and what are the difference between the different levels? So it's a uh, $1 million for anyone on the call today. Uh, so it's cheaper <laughs> half the price. No. Um, so we've 10 got basis two... points of everything we do, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, secretly I'm an undercover advisor just trying to steal business. But um, no, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's cheap, you know, it's cheap. So we, we, it's, we've got two versions. There's the essential version, which is everything that you saw, apart from the reports coming from a recipe, so the 5,500, the benchmarking uh, reports, et cetera. They are that's in our premium version. So essential 69 bucks per user per month or the premium 99 bucks per user per month. Uh, it's a contract as well. There's no long term commitment. If you want to pay annually up front, then you get a 10 percent discount automatically off of it. And it's as simple as subscribing to like Spotify. You go onto our website, you sign up, you enter the state or states up to free that, that you work in and away you go. You load in, you load in, system loads, you get all the data there, then you go and download the, the mobile application, log in, and you're off and running like that. It's as simple as that. I know it sounds too easy, but it generally is It generally is that easy. So the $30 difference is just the Arista, uh, Aristopedia reports, right? Yeah. You still get all the other data, all the 5,500 data yep. on the base level. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's and just then another question, Can is there an ability to export data for a paper trail? Yeah, so, look, so look, the, the data is yours. Yeah, so we've got the 5500 data, it's public data anyway, but it's, the, the data is yours. You can do as you wish with it. You can export it, you can export it and print it off and just have it in a cupboard. You know, that's fine. No worries whatsoever. It's, it's all your data. So, and it, and if, you, if you were to leave, you export all the data you know, and, and take it with you. you know, all your activity, your opportunities, your pipeline, etc. You can take it, all, take it all with you. You know, it's, it's your data. So I guess a long-winded yeah, answer, Jake. Right. The answer is yes. There's a variety of ways to print and save and keep your, you know, your activities, all the information that you've done. So if you've worked for two years on the system, 
not only do you have a backup, but you also have ways to create reports for yourself on what you've done. If you, and especially with a team, there's all kinds of management tools to export reports as well. And, and, and the fact that we're paying for it, I think that's a big key because there's a lot of free tools out there that potentially when you're not paying for the product, you're kind of, they're leveraging your data. And so I would think in this scenario, you know, as we own the data, what we're putting in there is not something that'd be going out to record keepers or other partners. It's, it's something that's ours. It's, it's, it's sort of that social media world, Jake, isn't it? When if you're not paying for it, you're the product. Right. You know, it's, it's as simple as that. You know, if, if you're not paying for something, then you are the product. You know, we know that. Jake, Facebook, that you know, exactly. Yeah. That's a very good point because the confidentiality is very important. So force manager, they when, when you're a client of force managers, that data is confidential. It's not shared with anybody. We don't have backroom record keepers and vendors who are saying, hey, how many people are prospecting these accounts? There's nothing like that. It's your data, confidentiality. Nobody, I can't see the data. It's literally internal at force manager, just like you would be if you're at Salesforce. I'm assuming if you're at Salesforce or if you have an Excel spreadsheet, you can't pull your Excel spreadsheets, right? It's your information. It's you pay for the tool. Yeah, and all, all data is housed on AWS. So Amazon Web Services is where we've, you know, we've chosen to hold host all our data because, you know, premier premier sort of option in terms of, of data hosting with all the security that that with that as well. So yeah, security is often a, a conversation as well. And but even there's even little things, you know, like we we've got you can sync your emails to Force Manager as well. So you can really create a whole picture of that 360 degree view of the interactions with that prospect. But that email sync, you know, is, is option. Turn it on, turn it off, whatever you want. So there's different ways you can play with the, the sort of from a security aspect as well. Do you do you have from a from a team subscription standpoint? Do you have like wholesalers that are using this as well? Like, or is this mainly just guys are focused? I'll step in there. We have a variety of groups around the U.S. that are industry centric. For example, TPAs, and then we other have other industry experts out there that have said we want to use this. So. We actually have a, a TPA version where a lot of TPAs are just not, they're technologically savvy on their administration, but not on their marketing side. So we've got everywhere from one owner TPA firm boutique to multi-state national TPAs with a variety of reps that are using the system and then they're managing. And that's really where you get into the enterprise value. When you get in the enterprise conversation and you have, let's say six or eight or 10 or 15 or a hundred salespeople, and you want to manage them, the functionality there is fantastic with Force Manager. So on the enterprise level, it worked well. And then also, and we're, again, we're, we're new launching this, but Force Manager is not new. So all those questions that have been asked at that corporate level, can you sync it with this? Can you do this? For example, you've got Microsoft Teams and Zoom integration embedded in the tool today. So you can do Zoom calls, you can do Microsoft Teams calls right from the tool, and it, it gets you into the there's a variety of ways that these institutional groups are using it. But we also like the fact that direct to consumer, you log in today, you sign up, and you're ready, you're running within a day. Nice, which is kind of the question that just came in from Sal. What kind of support is provided to the user, mainly on the tech and how to sync and use the program itself? So kind of training up front. Yeah, yeah so we've got a whole range of li library of like video content and, and stuff to learn. So you can pick it up and be a bit more autonomous with when you can, when you can fit it in. But what we're running probably for the next month or so, and especially to Jake, to your to your club members as well, that we want to do some one to ones. You know, we do some one to ones with especially your your members here to help them get the most from the system as well. So what, where we found the best approach is, hey, we've got like a whole training webinar to, to go and watch. Watch it, you know, at your leisure. Watch it, and then then we then arrange a number of half an hour calls just to go over like specific points. You know, I don't understand this. How do I do this, etc. Because I think group webinars are great, but if you've got individual questions, it's hard to ask in a big room. But, you know, we book those one-to-ones, and that's an, an open offer to anyone in, in your club, Jake, you know, for now and, and moving forward as well, that you know, they can have free, you know, free additional one-to-one -one sessions with us just to help with that adoption. Hopefully what you've seen is fairly intuitive. You know, you can, you can pick it up and run. I think if you can turn on your phone, you should be pretty good. But, yeah, like I said, for, for, so Sal, your, your question, that we'll be here to support you the whole way through. And as far as setup, for example, like myself, I have an operations director. I know a few of us on here have you know, bigger teams, other relationship managers. Would you say it needs to be set up a license for each person, in the back office people? Yeah, so, so officially, 
Yeah, I would want every person who wants to needs access to Force Manager to have their license. That's that's clear. Now, okay. can you technically share credentials? Yes. <laughs> would lose some accountability? Yes, because if you've got multiple people using the same license, then you know you don't know who's doing what. Uh, but yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, we there's ways around it for speak. But yes, yeah, so everyone is going to actively use it. Definitely, you know, definitely need a, a license. If you're looking at it just from like a, a read-only access, I just want to see it. I don't need to really do any action with it. I just want to see what's happening, tracking some of the activity in a larger team. Then, yeah, we can we can throw in some a couple of like free licenses here and there as well to, to help support that along the way. We are here, at the, sorry, Lou. We're at the moment having a discussion about do we have a slightly different license for I know a, a, a maybe half the price license for like someone's internal. You know, do we try to look at that model as well? So not something we've done yet, but something that has come up since during this sort of launch period. Yeah, and here's where we are today. As During the launch, let's say you have five sales reps on your team, but each of those sales reps might have one or two internal assistants. So we're not policing the tool. If you buy five licenses, but those those reps want their assistant to log in and use their login, we're not policing that. Um, but what we do say is in order to track all of your so you can track the comments and the notes like any any typical CRM. If you want that person to be on there that, you know, Sally said this, Mike said this, Joe said this, then you want separate licenses. And I think a lot of folks are, are walking before they can run. They say, okay, let's go ahead and get the five. And then we're going to have the assistant start using them. And then as they use it, okay, we might want to add more. And we've seen other teams where they purchase a couple and they come back and say, okay, we want a couple more licenses. We love the functionality. And uh, we're here to be flexible with your teams. Yeah, and also the volume thing, Jake, as well. You know, if, if someone wants to come and buy five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty licenses, then yeah, we can we can we can apply discounts then. You know, as well. So we can. There's different yeah. ways to different ways to play it as well. Yes, yeah, so I get in, give it a try. I mean, I, th I think most of us on here probably have some sort of a solution for a CRM, and switching to CRM is not easy. <laughs> but this one is something you could kind of ease your way into, but it's way more powerful than. You, you probably realize even just getting into it. I know I've been just trying to test it out and use it more, but I, I need to go even deeply get it going yeah. for me because I'm using too many Google Sheets, right? So that that's uh, definitely uh, a really powerful tool. Um, is there any other questions from the group? Anyone raise your hand if you want to come on and talk to, to Luke or Lou, um, or you can drop them in the question. I think so far, I think this was amazing. I mean, I really am impressed. I think you've got this figured out in a way that I've never seen anywhere else. Um, and I'm a guy that just, I struggle to log into a CRM and this definitely is friendly to my kind of behavior in the day, <laughs> which is big. But so, we're, on our, we're on our phones all the time. So right. why not have something that actually works and is easy? You know, it has to be that simple. It's because it's like, bizarrely since COVID, we actually seen our mobile app usage go up, which is counterintuitive to an extent because we're all at home or at the home office. But ease of use on my iPhone, iPad as well. It looks great on the iPad. Obviously, just a bigger version of the iPhone. But again, on your tablet as well, you know, it can be great. You know, whenever I'm traveling now, I don't even take my laptop with me. I'm on my iPad. Straight Th away. Does it work on Android too? Yep, Android as well, 100%. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so I'm an Apple all the yeah. way, but. Yeah, so am yeah, I. I mean, yeah, yeah, my business partner uses Android. I'm an Apple guy. And we both have the same, you know, functionality on both of our tools. And it works fine. So. We hear Apple, Apple, but it's very functional on Android and any other device, tablet. That's another thing, too, is multi-platform. So on your iPhone, on your tablet, I love it on an iPad or a tablet and also on your desktop, and then it talks back and forth. Awesome. Cool. Well, I think this is a, a great sesh today. I really appreciate both of you coming on and just showing us the, the system. Um, how to get a hold of you, I guess, probably just go to force manager or I can send out a link. Yeah. Yeah. Send, 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 out my, send out my email address, Jake as well. Lou and I's email addresses. You know, if we, people come and have a, you know, a, a fuller demonstration of it, more than happy to set up, set up those, those as well. Yeah. And the website as well. If you Google force manager 5,500, it'll, it'll pop up. But yeah, I mean, Jake, you can send out any, my yeah, information. Go ahead and send, if you want to send our contact information, I would love to answer questions and you have the team behind you that we can answer custom questions and, and do a private demo as well. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Thank you guys. Appreciate have, it. A lovely, have a lovely weekend. I'm closer to it here in the UK. So I'm sat in the UK <laughs> today. So I'm much closer to that beer than, than you, you guys are. Yeah. <laughs> a few more hours. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Too. Thanks, everybody. Cheers, else. Guys. Have a great day. See you later.